Welcome to another video from Navixi. Our goal is to elevate the way people use data, which means staying up to date with the latest news and trends in the telematics industry and passing those insights on to our partners. We are here to bring you up to speed on what some of the largest manufacturers have been up to lately and what these developments mean for the future. In this video, we'll take a closer look at what Teltonica, Jimmy IoT, and QuickLink released this past year and how these devices represent significant trends happening in telematics. Knowing these trends can help you make better informed decisions in the coming year to strengthen your business in challenging times. So let's begin. First, let's start with Teltonica. This company is known globally for its reliable, well-designed products, many of which are both cost-effective and easy to install. So it's no surprise that they had the highest volume of devices connected to Navixi in 2022. Some of its more recent integrations, the FMB965 and LTE versions of FMB920, achieved a total of 3 million installations after just six years on the market, proving just how popular Teltonica is for telematic solutions. A few other new trackers include the FMX00A series, the FMX800 series, and the FMM13A, all of which are designed for and certified in North America. In addition to these hardware releases, Teltonica also updated the firmware for its OBD001 series to make it more similar to the FMX003 series. Furthermore, we've observed that its list of supported vehicles for OBD readings has steadily expanded, suggesting that Teltonica is pursuing OBD markets with devices that are versatile, feature-rich, and cost-effective. Moreover, it's clear the company is committed to North America with its new regional office and ongoing device certification for both the US and Canada. Another manufacturer to pay close attention to is Jimmy IoT. They had the second highest volume of devices connected to Navixi in 2022 and recently updated their entire lineup of products. In particular, they focused on dash cams, such as the robust JC450 series and the compact JC120 bringing its total number of dashcam options to seven. Jimmy IoT also released several other devices last year, including the VL802, VL502, LL303, and the aforementioned JC450 dashcam series. In our opinion, these releases show that Jimmy is continuing its focus on building connected device networks to offer comprehensive telematic services. Thanks to an array of new functionalities, customers can control their devices from any location, making it easy to manage assets for great efficiency, cost savings, and safety. Lastly, let's talk about QuickLink, which had the fourth most connected devices in Navixi in 2022. They offer an expansive range of products from simple, cost-effective trackers to sophisticated GPS terminals with CAN and TACO readings, making them well-suited for vehicle telematic solutions. Furthermore, QuickLink is currently developing dash cams to take its offerings to the next level. Some of their newest trackers include the GV58 CEU, GV305 CEU, and GV355 CEU. Of note, the GV350 CEU has received significant interest from our partners and was the only CEU device showcased by QuickLink at Expo Seguridad Mexico City last year. The company has also placed emphasis on expanding connectivity options and increasing the different types of vehicle data that trackers can read. So be sure to keep in mind what types of data you'll need when choosing a QuickLink device. Let's end with some final thoughts on what to expect in the coming year in the world of GPS tracking and telematics. The continuing shutdown of 2G and 3G networks has driven manufacturers to update their top products in order to stay competitive as 4G becomes increasingly standard. Updating the firmware of existing models, such as OBD trackers, has been an effective solution in the short term, while updating GSM modules is the long-term goal. Meanwhile, both Teltonica and QuickLink have started adding CAN adapters to newer models to further diversify their potential use cases. Ultimately, these efforts suggest that convenience is key. Customers want rich data collection and easy to install devices and sensors without sacrificing the features they've come to know and expect. In other words, users want access to lots of information. To learn how Navixi can meet your telematics and IoT needs, be sure to contact our team today. 
We believe that every business should benefit from telematics data with robust APIs and intuitive virtual interfaces, so don't miss out on exploring what we can do for you. Thanks for watching, and be sure to stay tuned to the Navixi YouTube channel for more videos.